Doing okay? Dear diary. <laughs> Old typewriter. What I'm with most, parchment? With fresh parchment. What I'm most intrigued about is this old letter from November 12th, 1989. Were you even born yet then, Dan? Yes, just barely. <laughs> You're not supposed to reveal your age. So wait, that letter was inside of this when you found it? Yes. Did you just find this on the street? Something like that. Okay. What does the letter say? Dear Mick. Hey, what's up? Nothing much is going on here. I'm going to be coming home for Christmas. We should be coming around to the 19th of December. So how's life in Utah? Well, I guess life is pretty cool here, except that you never write me. How last, dare you, Mick? Last time I wrote you, I never got a letter back. Are you mad at me or what? What a jerk. I gotta find out if Mick was really mad. So what are you planning on getting for Christmas? I'm getting a Sky Climber Cliffhanger set. You take the lead. You've made it. You've won. Sky Climber Cliffhangers. Well, before I end this letter, I would like to tell you that my marvelous, beautiful sister typed this letter, and, and I told her everything to type, especially the part about my wonderful sister. I'm just kidding, Mick. Write back as soon as you read this letter and mail it off the next day. We need to get Mark Stephen Holbrook's address, and everyone needs to write him a letter back because Mick never did. Internet, can you get on this? This is what his uh, handwriting looks like. And then uh, we're gonna take this type typewriter thingy, so I'm told it's called, and uh, we're gonna cut it in half. See what the damage is. And is it in two pieces? For the most part? Oh no, it's this middle, it's that wishbone. Oh, uh, we got the bigger piece of the wishbone. And it's this spot back there. One half of one typewriter. Does it still work though? Ish. Well, kind of. It's a little gummed up. It's Get every key up. You could write half a letter with this. This is like one of those ergonomic keyboards now that's split into two halves, you know? So you're, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. I don't know if I could ever use one of those, but. Well, this is the typewriter version of that. Can you explain how it works? Um, First surprised. you gotta get a good reading on it. So you hit the keys and then these go up and it hits the uh, inky doos, and then it pushes inky do on your paper. Wow. I'm really just surprised that like, someone figured this out. Like if you had something nowadays with this many little pieces and parts and like components, and it took like, you have to put it together by hand, this would cost like a million dollars. That looks super complicated inside. But you know what's not complicated? Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace makes it easy to set up and design your very own website, whether you're selling rocks or making a fan page for us. And if you have your own domain, you can easily transfer it to Squarespace. They have tons of designer templates for you to choose from, and if you have trouble along the way, they have award-winning customer service that can take you through the process step by step. So click on the link down in the description to get a free trial and 10% off of your purchase. We'd like to do an extra special thanks for Squarespace. This is the sixth video we've done them so they're our longest sponsor uh, so if you haven't gone there already then stop watching our videos so go ahead put your money where my mouth is and go to squarespace.com forward slash water jet okay let's dive deeper into this typewriter oh yeah that's real deep oh we could have just done that without cutting it in half to see what was inside and everything wouldn't be so wet so we've got some gears that spin shafts that are cut off. We've got like these levers are pretty impressive. A million little hinges. What are, what is the what's the wheelie thing? Is that for the carriage? Yeah, looks like it maybe. Looks carriagey. There's uh, a weird black uh, paper felty stuff. Okay, felty paper. Rubber shoes. Rubber shoes. What do you guess the total number of parts here? Huh? Forty-seven. 
Put it in the comments how many parts you think this typewriter. Mine's 47. What's yours? Uh, 18. <laughs>